the 2015 Volkswagen Beetle, the average guy. The iconic runabout of my youth is still running strong. Its classic egg-shaped exterior, sleek and contemporary interior, and peppy fuel-efficient engine options make the Beetle a unique and fun choice in the small car segment. And you know the drill. I've always had a soft spot in my heart for the Volkswagen Beetle. You know, I'm a product of the 70s, and these things back in the 70s were everywhere. In fact, my uncle had one in green that was just screaming. He promised it to me, and then he never gave it to me. So anytime I get a chance to do a review of the Beetle, I get pretty excited since I'm driving down memory lane, so to speak. And I'm also getting a call from my friend Allie. So I'm going to pull over to take this call because safety's always first. Allie, hey, lunch? Oh, of course. What am I hungry? Hey, by the way, I'm reviewing the 2015 Volkswagen Beetle. So I'll swing by and pick you up. And you can take a look at it. So Tony, wait a second. Before I even put my seatbelt on, is my seat heated? It's a heated seat. <laughs> You know that that's one of my criteria. <laughs> that's why I had it on for you. <laughs> oh my gosh. I really like this car. I have never been in a Beetle. Never. This is my first time. Ever. Ever. Wow. Ever, ever, ever. So this is so cool. I love it. Oh, I feel like it's a little bit of a, I don't know, like a precious moment. Like this is a first for me. I've looked at these all, like, all over the place, people driving them, and they are, they appear to be so much smaller. Yeah, there's a lot of space. The egg shape, then when you go back to the old Beetle when it was first released, mm -hmm. the egg shape supposedly made it more rigid, but it, it surprisingly, like Kevin would fit in here. Oh my, you Her husband's 6'5". So? Yeah, you think he would fit in here? He would fit in here. Yeah, to, I don't yeah. know. Lots He'd of, have to sit in the back. <laughs> no, lots of room in the in the well here, okay. right? Look. Okay. Look at that. So you think those long legs of his? Oh yeah. Got like, you know, yeah, my his, uncle. His legs are like six feet long. I, my uncle's six five, and he okay. had a back in the day. Oh, he had an original. He had an original. So yeah. what's the difference between the sizing between the two? I don't know. Okay. I don't know if there's much of a difference, but there is a lot of space in this model. This is such a cute car. What do you think of the? I like it. The I look mean, of the interior. The interior is really nice. I'm really surprised at at the whole overall look. Wow. Now, even some a little bit of space in the back. Not much. No, a not little much. bit. But you can get a couple of shopping bags back there sure. and maybe a car seat. Now, if you if you want to be a little bit uncomfortable and you need to bring people, you can move the seat up. Yeah. But how uncomfortable are you right now? I mean, I'm you feel like somewhat, you're yeah. Be ejected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sight lines are really, really poor in this vehicle. As no, you can I mean, see right back here, right there, that column back there. Okay. Pretty thick. So, some drawbacks. Okay. But it's a Volkswagen, so built well, the interior, solid, but kind of on the plain side. Nothing right. tremendously flashy. Oh, and it's got this race inspired mm -hmm. flat I steering wheel. I'm hungry, by the way. No kidding. Yeah. Are but you how cute is the are, interior are, of this? Uh, you know what? Yeah. I can, can really jazz it up, too. You can put uh, little decals up yeah. here, make it beetly. Uh, how about lunch? You said lunch. Okay, Tony. Let's You're go. You're driving. I'm driving. All right, lunch. let's go. All right. <laughs> let's do this. So far, so good. Now, remember a couple of weeks back when we tested the Mini Cooper? Yes. Countryman? Yes. And it was a little taxed, a little sluggish. Yes, this one, what size engine is this? Give this some gas. Yeah, no kidding. The 2015 Beetle is powered by a 1.8 liter four-cylinder turbo engine that pounds out 170 horsepower and 184 foot-pounds of torque while delivering an estimated 25 city 33 highway MPG. I don't feel like I am as low like I was in the Countryman. I don't feel like we are Barney and Fred <laughs> Flintstone going to the, uh, where, where did they work? Yeah, the, the, uh, the, <laughs> the quarry. Yeah, the quarry. I don't feel like we're on our way to the quarry. Um, I feel safer. You do? I do. Crisp steering, right? Very nice. nice. And, I, and I do like the sporty wheel. Yeah. It's kind of fun, actually. This could actually be a really cute car for the girlfriend's club. Yes. I could, you know, really uh, do something fun on the exterior. Put some graphics on it. Yeah. 
And you know what would be better? What? Is if you took me to lunch. I know, if I took you to lunch, or and, if I cooked lunch, or and, if I... And it's It's time. always about the tummy. And it's time for you to pay. Well, I think today is your time, turn to pay. Is it my turn? <laughs> I feel like it's always my turn. Is, what, is that a joke? All right, guys, you got to get over to the Girlfriends Club. That's Allie's channel on YouTube. I'll leave information, a link to her channel, in the description box below. And you guys, if you have any ladies in your life, send them over to for a visit over to the Girlfriends Club. I'd love to visit with them. And for everyone that comes over, she gets to pay for another lunch for me. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's like a, it, I'm getting like a like a commission a commission a food commission you get over to the girlfriend's club and you say that the average guy sent you i get a free lunch there you go oh let's make that a challenge let's see how many <laughs> that you can get over and then you guys vote on where i'm taking tony to lunch and you know i love free lunch <laughs> all right you ready for some You're free lunch crazy. yeah i am see crazy. you later all right let's go Allie and i went to one of my favorite spots for lunch Monaco's in Huntington, where they serve some awesome cold-fired pizza. Now the owner, Andrew, well he's a great guy, and he works hard and makes delicious food using recipes that were handed down from his grandmother. Now if you're ever on Long Island, you need to get over to Monaco's. Get in there, say hi to Andrew, and let him know the average guy sent you. Okay, back to work. More about the new Beetle. All right, earlier we talked about the back seat being cramped. Now, while that's true, I was really impressed with the amount of trunk space the Beetle has to offer. There's just about 15 and a half cubic feet of space in the trunk, which expands to 30 cubes when the back seats are folded flat. Now, I've really enjoyed my time in the Volkswagen Beetle. It's well built, it's playful, and it's fun to drive. And if you're looking for a vehicle that's unique, that can take you down memory lane, or drive you towards new memories, you definitely have to put the new Volkswagen Beetle on your test drive list. And I'll see you next time. But in the meantime, keep pushing play. <laughs> Click on the screen to watch my review of the Mini Cooper Countryman.